Welcome Year 7. It's Lesson 10 in the Energy Booklet. Today we're looking at GPE, Gravitational Potential Energy. Look at those poor eggs there. I think one of the eggs has been dropped from a large height. So, GPE, Gravitational Potential Energy, of an object on Earth depends on two things. It's the mass of the object measured in kilograms and the height of the object above the ground measured in metres, metres, small m. These eggs are falling. Draw into the two boxes what you think the fresh eggs will look like after hitting the ground from the height shown. Now you can see egg number one is being dropped only from 0.5 meters, that's 50 centimeters. You get to draw in what you think the egg, the fresh egg will look like once it's hit the ground. Egg number two has been released from 15 meters. Draw in the box what you think they look like. I'll give you a hint. Egg one is going to look more like an egg than egg two. So, GPE, use the box words to complete the uh, passage. I'm going to stop the video for a second, see if you can't fill in the correct words yourself. Okay, here we go with the answers. The gravitational potential energy, the GPE of an object on Earth, depends on two variables. The mass of the object and its height above the Earth's surface. When a bungee jumper starts to fall, the, um, sorry, when a bungee jumper starts to fall, they start to lose GPE, which is mostly changed into kinetic energy. As the elastic bungee starts to pull them back up, the kinetic energy is converted, changed back into GPE. Now, how is GPE calculated? Well, we've got this equation. GPE is M times G times H. M is the mass in kilograms. G is the gravity. And on Earth, gravity equals 10 newtons of force for every single kilogram. And H is the height. So let's just have a look at this question. Question one, a, a toy drone has a mass of 2.3 kilograms. We've got the mass. It climbs up 16 meters into the air. We've got the height. And gravity on Earth is 10. Boom. We can calculate its increase in GPE. So first thing that we write down always, we write down the equation always, always, always. M times G times H. The second thing that we do always is put the numbers in. M, 2.3 kilograms, multiplied by G, 10 on Earth, multiplied by H, it climbed up 16 meters. Then finally, we put in our answer. Pause it, put in the answer. It is 3, 6, 8. And the units for energy, big J, joules. And for those that are interested, I can convert that into kilo joules. Little k, big J, you divide this number by a thousand 
and you get 0.368 kilojoules, same number. Now, work out the GPE as you climb the science stairs. So in other words, you're down um, near room 33 or 34 or 35, and you climb up towards 39 or 38, Miss Wood's room or Mr. Ruddy's room. Okay, <clears throat> think about the measurements you need to take. Well, we need the mass of the object, we need gravity, and we need the height. Number two, making sure you are using the correct measuring equipment. How do we measure mass? Mass scales. How do we measure height? That would either be with a ruler or a tape measure. Write out your equation. So, hang on. Number one. We need mass and height. We need mass in kilos and height in meters. What's the correct equipment? We need mass scales. And for height, we need a tape measure. Number three, write out the equation. GPE equals M times G times H. Now, I'm going to put in my own values, right? I want you to put in your values. You don't put in the blue values now. These are going to be different. So put in the number values. So this is number four. Number four. My mass is 70 kilos. You put in your mass. Multiplied by gravity, that is going to be 10 for everyone. Now the height is going to be the same. And have a guess at what the height of those stairs from the lower to the upper floors of the science block are. They are 3.2 meters. So if I was to run up the stairs, I would gain 70 times 10 times 3.2 equals 2,240 joules of gravitational potential energy. I could convert that into kilojoules as well. I divide it by 1,000. You would get 2.24, little k, big J, kilojoules. Wow, you have a go at that now. Remember, you change number four and five. Whoa, extension work. You're on top of uh, Everest. GPE equals M times G times H. I'm doing my mass. You got to do your mass. Minus 70 times 10 times I'm going up 8,848 meters. If I want to get to the top of Everest, 70 times 10 times 8848 equals, whoa, 6,193,600 joules. If I divide that by a thousand, I would get 6,193.6 kilo joules. Now this is for those that know their stuff. If you divide that by a thousand again, I will get 6.1936 mega joules. Mega means millions. Kilo means thousands. Notice that you must always include your units. 
Right then, side tech link, and you know what? A little bit of PE, you'll find out why it's PE in a second. Objects that possess kinetic energy. They move. If they move, we can measure their speed. Speed is, whoa, distance divided by time. Don't worry about this. We haven't done this, but don't worry about it. Write out the speed equation. Speed equals distance divided by time. Oh, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to run around room 39. That's the science room. Okay. Show your workings. Right. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Now, the distance around this room is 22.8 meters. I know that for a fact. The time it took me, that was approximately 9.5 seconds. So, I've written out the equation. I've shown the workings. I'm going to work out my speed now. 22.8 divided by 9.5 equals 2.4 ah what are the units for speed they are meters traveled per second because the distance was 22.8 meters and it took me 9.5 seconds get out there run around or walk around if you could work out the distance and the time it took, you can work out your speed. Okay, that's it for today. See ya.